Okay then guys, so we're going to start with the squat. So squat's one of the most common exercises that we'll do at LPT. So it's absolutely paramount that you, uh, you get the form right and don't make the common mistakes that people make. So just firstly, I'll just do a side on squat just so that we know what we're looking at. Okay, so from here, side on and then front on here. So let's go into what we're doing here. So number one, we want to have the feet. So if you want to do this with me while you're listening, you can. Um, feet generally, if you start with your feet hip distance and then go heel toe, that will just take you outside of the hip distance where you need to be. Then you want to go have your toes slightly turned out. And this bit's really important. You want to make sure that when your knees bend, they're going over roughly the sort of third, fourth toe outwards. So one of the first common mistakes that we see is those knees caving in, okay? So what really helps with that is to kind of claw the floor with your toes externally, outwards, basically. And that helps if you watch my knees when I do that, my knees just pop out here, okay? So then the next thing is we need to actually bend the knees. Okay, so as we bend the knees, we're going to sit your bottom back, but at the same time, we're not going to be rolling the shoulders. So try and keep your shoulders, shoulder blades engaged. One of the things that helps with that is to have the arms out in front of you here, or fingertips to temples here as we go down. So we want to be keeping that back nice and flat. We don't want to be doing the Donald Duck hip thing. So we want to keep your rib cage closed enough so your tummy muscles are still engaged. Okay, because that's going to support your spine. And then we're going to sink into that squat. Now what's really important is to get used to how low is right for you. So some people are going to go really low, depending on their ankle mobility, hip mobility, hamstrings. You'll know that by looking in the mirror. So when you do your squat, if you find yourself getting to here, and then the hips roll under and your shoulders roll forwards, you've probably gone too low. Okay, so that'd be a really good exercise to start practicing and you can talk to us about improving your squat.